Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX News show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. That being said, we have a follow-up on the Supreme BMX bike that we've talked about in previous news videos. Andrew, a guy who owns a bike shop called Messerol in Brooklyn, New York, actually bought one of the Supreme bikes and did a video where he kind of talked about all of the parts and everything on it and gave a little bit of history of S&M and talked about Supreme and everything they did with this bike. And it was a really, really good video and they gave very very close up detailed shots of all the different things that make up this bike and where Supreme put their logos and just everything that someone who's actually interested in this bike might want to see. And I figured I would take this opportunity to talk about this bike again because we haven't talked about it since before it was released, before the price was known and any of those other details. And actually the price didn't end up being completely absurd. This bike costs like $1,900 or $2,000 to buy. And when you look at this bike and everything that makes it up and you compare it to building this bike or one very similar to it, piece by piece, it would honestly almost cost about this much. They didn't cut any corners with this bike and you can tell just in looking at the video and all of the different details and attention to too deep and attention to detail that went into and attention to detail that went into making it. And it appears that Supreme also didn't limit S&M whenever it came to building this bike as far as putting their own logos on it and branding the bike as an S&M and Supreme bike. There are probably just as many S&M logos on this bike as there are Supreme logos. And it was just really good to see that this company didn't come in and order this bike from S&M and make them only put Supreme logos on it, use the cheapest possible components to make it. No, they came in, they made a period piece bike that is almost exactly what you would find in 1995 if you were going to buy a S&M dirt bike. So let the haters and purists and gatekeepers of BMX say whatever they want to say about this thing. It could have been so much worse. And I don't think a company like S&M, who's so well respected in the BMX world, who's got such deep roots in BMX and has literally been around for more than 30 years, would even take this job if it compromised their integrity and called for something that is less than what we actually saw with the final outcome of this bike. So with that being said, check out this video if you guys want a closer look at all the attention to detail and quality that went into building this bike. And you can find that in the description down below. It's the first thing that's going to be listed and everything else that I talk about today will be listed down there as well in the order that I talk about it. After that, we've got one piece of sponsorship news to talk about this week. And that is that Merritt added a new AM rider to their flow team. His name is Trevor Antelon and he had a welcome to Merritt video completely full of literally nothing but rails and ledge grind tricks in this video. So if that's up your alley, also it's in standard def, I'm assuming probably shot on a VX. So if that's up your alley and you wanna check out that video, you know where to find it. And then after that, we have a literal crap ton of videos to talk about this week. There are so many of them. And the first one I wanna talk about comes from one of my favorite dudes to watch ride in BMX right now. His name is Dave Crone and I have raved about this dude so much before. So I'm gonna spare you guys the dick sucking and we're just gonna say that you need to watch this video. All I really wanna say here, and this is repeating myself from what I've said previously, is that Dave is just one of those people who's so in tune with his bike. It's him at one with his bike, riding it in ways that not very many other people can. And then and I also wanted to point out that this dude is always putting in work. It seems like there's always a new Dave Crone video. Even right after his wrist healed up from that injury, he put out a video very shortly after being healed up. Now there's another one. I'm imagining he's probably working on another one after that. And he's just riding everything in his own way in the purest form of freestyle. And then we had a quick video from Kink with Casey Starling called Casey Starling New Bike Build Session. This one's two and a half minutes long. And if you guys know Casey Starling's name, you know what to expect with this one. But if you don't, I I want to give you guys a quick rundown of Casey Starling. This is one of those dudes who seems like he can just do whatever he wants to on his bike and makes it look easy. And then in this video, he's doing a casual fly out flare to fakie in the streets at night. This dude absolutely rips, and if you guys haven't heard his name, you're gonna wanna check this video out. Then after that, we had another quick video, this time from GT, in a continuation of what seems to be their quarantine series, where it's just got all their riders talking about their experiences and how they're dealing with the quarantine and everything going on. This one was pretty funny. It was with Brian Kaczynski and he talks in the beginning about what he's got going on. And he talks about all these different things that he does before he leaves his house to go street riding, like catching a tan, bowling, going to get a manicure and all these other things. But there's a twist to it in the video that you're just gonna have to watch it to check out. Then he leaves his house and hits a couple street spots before he ends the video by saying that he hopes everyone stays safe. And then we're gonna ride this thing out. After that, we can take a complete 180 in terms of style of riding to a video called Trip to the Narbarn. This one includes Mike 
Porter, Mike Danello, Nick Harkins, Tyler Franzel, and a guy called Sean. They don't give a last name for him, but if none of those names are familiar to you, these are all Midwest dudes riding in a barn that has a spine, a box jump, a whole bunch of different quarter pipes, bowl corners, transfers, and all that with some wall rides, and they are absolutely destroying it. Nick Harkins and Mike Danello might be two of the best front brake riders that are in the game, and to anyone out there who enjoys lip tricks and front brakes, this is the video that you're gonna wanna check out this week. Then we've got another quick video at just over a minute long with someone named Drew Jackson, and this video comes from SM and it's called Dat Boy Drew. And I actually wanted to talk about this video because of a story that I've got about Drew. So, myself and a friend way back in like 2011 or 12 drove all the way out to Oklahoma randomly. We showed up at the Tulsa skate park and Drew was there. We shredded, we got to know him. And then, without even knowing us other than riding that night, he offered us a place to stay. And it was just an awesome thing of him to do without even knowing us. And the dude absolutely rips. So, I figured I would talk about this one and give Give Drew a shout out all of these years later. So if you see this, thanks again, Drew. And then after that, we've got a video that I know a lot of you are going to be psyched on. It's Jay Miron's McNeil video section from all the way back in 2000. Four. And I really don't even have to say anything to describe this one. It's Jay Miron. You probably already clicked off the video to watch this one. But after that, there's a bunch more videos that I thought were worth talking about, but I didn't want to talk in depth about. The first one is a video from Sabrosa called The Quarantine Mix. And this is volume one, so obviously there's going to be some more coming. And the premise behind this video is pretty simple. The Sabrosa team riders were tasked with the mission to just get clips by any means possible, wherever they could, whether that means going out and getting clips, or staying in their driveway and getting clips. And this one has a pretty good lineup in it. It's got Bajarki Hardison, Mark Burnett, Mo Nussbaumer, Joris Kalam, Rim Nakamura, yes, Rim Nakamura, the crazy high-flying Red Bull rider who does crazy quadruple bar spin airs, Jabe Jones, Trey Jones, and several more. So if any of that sounds intriguing to you, you're probably gonna wanna check it out. After that, we've got a video from Cult. This is called Going Anyways, and this is with Preston Oker and Seth Allen. And this one is almost a half hour long with just these two dudes and a road trip that they had taken all the way from California to Kansas. Then we had a video from Montana Ricky called 2020 So Far, followed by another battle Hastings 2020 video qualifier submission, this time from Felix Funk, followed by Colony's full length take a ticket video that we mentioned being a thing last week. So there are a ton of different videos for you guys to watch this week with all different varying lengths, all the way from one minute to 30 minutes. So check some of those out in the links in the description below if you want to. And then we've got a couple different bike checks to talk about this week. The first one comes from Matt Copeland in Profile and it's called What I Ride and it's up on Profile's YouTube channel, followed by a Mickey Fleck video bike check from United and a Matt Nordstrom picture bike check with just a list of parts from Odyssey. And that brings us into the product related news from this week. The first thing that I have to talk about here is a promo video from Fly with Devin Smiley to promote his signature Fuego line that has recently been updated with some new colors and parts. And this video is exactly a minute long with Devin's signature tech, as well as a couple burly moves in here. He did do a 540 down a stair set, which was really awesome. And there's also a mixture of cassette and free coaster moves in here because I believe Devin Smiley has jumped back on the cassette train. Then we've got a video from Haro with Chad Curley called Door Direct, and this is basically a promotion to let people know that they now have a direct shipping service where you can order a bike from Haro and get it shipped directly to your door if you don't have a local bike shop where they can send it. Because if you guys didn't know, Haro has a system where you go on their website and if you try to order a bike, they won't ship it directly to you, or at least they wouldn't. They would ship it to the local Haro dealer that was closest to you, and then you had to go and pick it up from there. Well, now they'll ship it directly to you if you don't have somewhere you can get it and this video is a promotion of that with Chad building up a brand new bike and then going out and riding it and then the last product related thing to talk about this week is a preview of kinks 2021 complete bikes and that brings us into the interviews from this week the first thing that I want to talk about is something that actually happened on my channel for those of you who only follow this channel for the news videos and might have missed it I actually did a live stream podcast with Tate Russ Kelly talking about his riding and all kinds of other stuff so if you want to check that one out you know where to find it and then unfortunately we've got to talk about some bad news in that the kitchen skate park in Indiana Brett Benassiwix's skate park is going to have to close because of everything going on Vital BMX did an interview with him talking about it and it's kind of a bummer to read it's kind of a bummer to hear and that's really all I have to say about it it sucks that it's happening and it's hard to find some positive in this situation where it doesn't feel like there's a silver lining whatsoever 
But that is going to be the end of the news video this week. If you guys have any thoughts on the Supreme bike now that you've seen the whole thing and all of the details up close, let me know in the comments down below, as well as if you have thoughts on anything else that I talked about today, subscribe if you're new while you're down there, and hopefully that'll mean we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.